The choking stench of tallow permeates the air. A candlemaker's house stands alone within the weirdness. The inquisitive tendrils held at bay by dozens of flickering weird candles. You weren't the only one who came up with the idea to search for weird candles in this old house. Come, 
train if you feel like it. These may be mere illusions, but they hit and kill. Just like the real versions.
you notice the ruins of a home that was burned down. There's no telling whether it was destroyed during the war, set alight out of spite, or simply burned down due to an unfortunate accident. You look for anything of value among the charred ruins. As you look, the remains of what must have been a comfortable home twist and morph in front of your eyes. Holes open up in the floor, wooden walls change places, and fragments of furniture stutter around as if possessed. Then you find something you didn't expect. The half-burnt corpse of an elderly man. It vanishes as soon as you get closer, leaving only a box on the floor. Somehow the box is untouched by the flames. The box contains an expensive ring with an unknown symbol and a piece of paper with beautiful handwriting.
godless healing, godless healing. The florist waves his hand and greets you, but as you approach, he notices your surprised look. You want to ask me why I'm here, even though I found the love of my life, don't you? Oh, what a magnificent woman she is, I tell you. But you know how it is sometimes with such women. Sometimes you need space. And so here I am, giving her space. Anyway. How can I help you today? old man clad in the worn robes of a priest stands in the middle of boiling weirdness. There's nobody around but you, yet he's shouting as if to a crowd. <laughs> he waves his hands vigorously as if delivering a sermon. <laughs> He notices you.
Sometimes, I think the stones might be magical. See these markings? I don't know what they are, but when they glow, they look so pretty. 